Hi everyone, I am Naoki Watanabe, one of the pioneers in single molecule cell biology. In my laboratory, we welcome outstanding students from all over the world. Now, let me explain about my research. Researchers often discover biological functions through morphology. Morphogenesis is coupled with many life processes. In our genome, however, there is no design drawing. Morphogenesis is solely driven by the physical interaction with the molecule. Many molecules form a complex, and once disassembled, each protein moves a distance thousand times its size in a few seconds. So, how can we know molecular physics in living organisms? About 20 years ago, I demonstrated single molecule imaging in live cells convincingly for the first time. The left movie shows actin dynamics near the cell leading edge for about two minutes. I then noticed that we can see individual molecules by focusing on the cell expressing GFP actin at a very low level. This approach has elucidated molecular dynamics of actin polymerization in live cells. We now know where actin molecules polymerize and depolymerize, how long they stay in the filament, how they move, and the kinetics of some other regulatory factors as well. Another example is the fast motion of follow-me homology proteins. Follow-me's play pivotal roles in morphogenesis of many organisms. Follow-me's accelerate actin polymerization at two stages. At the second stage, follow-me's continuously attach to the polymerizing end of the actin filament and accelerate its elongation by tenfold. Furthermore, using single molecule fluorescence polarization, we demonstrated that formins rotate along the helical structure of the actin filament. This helical polymerization stabilizes actin, both in vitro and in cells, by generating torque around the filament axis. Monitoring single molecule dynamics is a powerful tool to elicite cell physiology. We discovered prominent activation formins in cells exposed to mechanical stress. Upon the formation of the cell cortex, formins start directional movement as shown here. Direct viewing revealed the transient nature of this activation, which had a peak at 10 seconds. Such transient activation would never be realized by conventional morphological analysis. Moreover, Direct viewing enabled us to precisely dissect signal transduction. We were able to conclude that this mechanosensitive actin polymerization is triggered by a surge in the concentration of monomeric actin. Real-time imaging also has a good chemistry with drugs. We found that anti-cancer kinase inhibitors trigger rapid translocation of oncogenic kinases such as SARC and ABL. Inhibitors binding the catalytic core of the kinase. Then, regulatory domains are allosterically displaced from the kinase domain. As a result, kinases become conformationally active. Importantly, when SARC acquires drug resistance mutations, its kinase activity is readily unleashed even in the presence of inhibitors leading to unwanted cancer cell growth. Live cell imaging thus captured the mechanism of action of drugs in real time. We also invented next-generation super-resolution microscopy called IRIS. A Nobel Prize was awarded for invention of super-resolution microscopy in 2014. Because of its fine resolution, however, scientists realized that antibody labeling was imperfect and uneven. For example, Images of microtubules by conventional methods such as STORM are discontinuous like this. By marked contrast, iris images are much smoother. Iris also visualizes cerebral cell structures simultaneously in a single specimen. This slide shows how iris solves the problem. In iris, fast exchangeable probes which bind and dissociate from the target in a few seconds are employed instead of antibodies. Then the positions of transient binding events are integrated over tens of thousands of images. By doing so, researchers can increase the label density almost infinitely. 
Furthermore, distribution of multiple target molecules can be visualized in the same sample. A drawback of iris was the requirement of probes for individual targets. Recently, we developed an efficient method to generate fast binders from existing monoclonal antibodies and nanobodies. With iris, the level density surpasses the number of endogenous molecules which is critical for high-fidelity molecular scale imaging. I hope to see the deep field inside of cells and tissues in the near future, which will visualize nanometer scale interaction of hundreds of molecules tangled with each other in the body. Let me conclude with this slide showing my favorite movies and images. Lights, camera, action! Let the molecules play Enjoy!